much. Thank you. Such a great crowd here today. Uh, nightly show writer and, as I was told to say, alleged comedian, uh, Jordan Carlos. Jordan Carlos hey, here tonight. Boy, yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> thank you. Uh, we kid Jordan all the time. Yeah. Comedian, very funny man. Christian Finnegan is here. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Very funny. And CNN's chief international correspondent, host of CNN International's Amanpour, Christian Amanpour. Yes. Uh, yeah. uh, so we were talking about this Dennis Hastert thing uh, earlier, and uh, it is interesting that that he was, um, you know, he's in trouble for <laughs> everything about money yeah. and nothing about what I feel he actually did. Does anyone have any compassion? for a sex offender being extorted because I don't. Yeah. Uh, I feel bad for wrestling coaches. Do you know what I mean? It's like, come on, guy. Like, we don't already hear the jokes already. Do you know what I mean? Like, they're getting a bad rap? Yeah, you know, it's the like, same reason when you look like me, you can't talk about sailboats. You know what I mean? It's just like too much. You get it. Well, when you look like me, in other words, a girl, mm -hmm. I feel very, very, very strongly that there should be no tolerance, zero tolerance all the way mm -hmm. for any kind of sexual offense and towards boys, too. Right. It's a zero tolerance, you know, so there's the it and then there's the politics about the it. Yeah. And, and Christian Amanpour, I'm going to go out on a limb with you and, and agree with you on that oh, as well. Oh, really? I like that, Jordan. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, great. Oh, great. Thank you very much. You guys are really, you're really speaking truth to power there. Yeah, Thanks and it's a relief. <laughs> yeah. I don't think there should be a statute of limitations on these types of crimes, the, the, especially when a teacher molest a student. It's bad enough for an adult to do that to a child, but a teacher student is the worst. Do you, uh, do you think we should have statute of limitations in these types of crimes? I, my view, no. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are a lot of serious crimes that have no statute of limitations. Right. I think this is a very, very serious crime. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, you can just talk about the prison population. Even when you go to prison, yeah. a sex offender and a pedophile knows that they are not going to have a very peaceful time in prison. So exactly. if it's considered bad amongst the worst of the worst offenders, right. then yes, exactly. it's bad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Done. Yeah, Listen to them. <laughs> well, you know what always gets me too is when guys like this they overdo the other thing of of legislating against certain types of crimes too. Shouldn't that make us suspicious? Can we ever believe anyone that's really vigilant against things anymore? You know, this happens practically every day. There's a fantastic award-winning journalism that's just been done about. God's Harvard, so to speak. It's mm -hmm. called the Patrick Henry College, and it's in Virginia. Mm -hmm. And it was created so that good Christian, God-fearing children could have a great and safe education, and the girls would be safe in, a, in, a, in, a, in an atmosphere of courtship. I feel Guess very what? bad about where A lot going. of assault. <laughs> a lot of assault and oh. very, very little accountability. So it, it, it just goes to show that this kind of hypocrisy mm -hmm. is for want of a better word, rampant, yeah. and very little accountability. It almost feels like a shield. People need to hide behind this type of uh, whatever is advocacy in order to get away with whatever it is well, they're doing. Take the heat off, you know, take right, the exactly. suspicion away. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Like me, I rail against pie eating, you know, but then this picture, uh, do you guys have that? Yeah, oh there my you God. Go. Uh, Larry! I, I can't do it. <laughs> yeah, all I do, all I do is talk about Pies are making us fat. Yeah. Pies are making us fat. Right. Then what do I do? Boom. I'm out eating pies. Robo-loading <laughs> pie yeah. in your face. Okay, I'm, now yeah. since I had you on the show, I wanted to ask you this question about, uh, it has to do with ISIS, because we've had a lot of ISIS recruiting going on, and I can't understand how this is happening. Mm. Why would American youth want to join ISIS? You know, it, it is, it is incredibly difficult to understand, mm -hmm. and I think everybody in the audience and all the young people who watch this program and who are around, will probably be able to understand the power of social media and the internet. And that is how this is happening. I kid you not. Social the, media? Yes, yeah. and grooming online. Absolutely. Really? Yes, indeed. Like ISIS has a Tinder <laughs> yeah. or something? They have. They you just they got have. indeed. You just they got indeed, yeah. You got indeed. I, I feel honored. They have, they have 24 7 banks of recruiters who uh -huh. sit there with their computers in Turkey or Syria or wherever it might be, right. and they are busy online finding people and grooming them. You know it happens. Grooming happens in every kind of aspect. It's literally high-tech terrorism. It is that. Yeah. And they're using mm -hmm. our, you know, inventions mm -hmm. and our technology and our democracies and our, you know, language and film and edit skills to do exactly what they want to do. All the things they rail against them that they hate, they're using technology. And they're very clever. Yeah, I think they're using technology, but the baseline appeal often is that 
life is complicated. They, you know, there's a very capital R romantic Wait, quality. Yes. Life to, is complicated. Join ISIS. You no, know, we're, we're <laughs> yeah. kind of yes, That's yes. What it is. Where, where really? the, the, there's the, the, I, there's a place where I know I'm gonna have a role, where I know how to live, Fit I know in. what to do. It's kind of like mm -hmm. uh, there's like kind of like I need to get out of here, like almost like an early Springsteen quality. Do you know what I mean? Like like uh, yeah. but the there's problem, a town for losers. <laughs> I'm getting out of here to win. I'm gonna go uh, yeah, make my life mean something. Run yeah. 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 yeah, terror in the U.S. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, okay. imagine that. And then all these girls who are being recruited, yeah. all these girls who are being recruited. Do they recruited, understand what's going to uh, No, they don't. Uh, they, they simply do not because they're going off into a life of servitude and slavery and sex slavery. And they think they're going out to be, you know, I don't know, wives of jihadis and great sort of uh, up holders of the Islamic tradition and they don't understand right. that this is all about the very extreme hard line worst of the worst of an extreme part of what is a very you know decent religion but, they're taking the extreme yes of the it. extreme worst I'm just yeah. saying like on Twitter like how is their emoji game is it like really good or what <laughs> like, their emoji game yeah like <laughs> what are they using <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm just using like, are they using like the dancing lady? Are they right. gonna like big smileys <laughs> smiley? and maybe some knives? Yeah. And I say yeah. that without trying to be funny either, because you yeah. know what? Yeah. There are, and I've talked to people who've been mm -hmm. held by these people. I mean, some mm -hmm. of my colleagues sure. were held, like the French journalists yes. and others, That's right. who were held for many months, including by this guy Jihadi John, who's the one who's been, right. you know, accused of, of slitting the throats of our friends mm -hmm. in the desert there for the whole world to see. And he said to me, this colleague who was actually Presumably, presumably they paid a ransom. In any event, right. he got out. And he said, the foreigners are even worse than the locals. In other words, uh, the foreigners so they come they to, to like, show yeah. themselves that they're more ISIS than ISIS, and they are, some of them, psychotic. Yeah. Some of them are just very violent. They I'm, think they're going out to have this kind of adventure, and it's a bloodlust. It's a cult. I always find it's a lot like, like, um, obviously, like, <laughs> Because they're like white people that try to act black. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they always keep it real, like a little extra hard. Yeah. You know, yeah. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't want to do this again.